Hello everybody, welcome back to another Origin Series video. This time I want to talk about some early clients, total legends. These are the people that gave us a go um, in the early days when it was just uh, a one-man band, um, the early days of our landscaping business, 2001, 2002, 2003, um, our business which was called Earthscape. Um, so this is the, the, the really early days before we even started manufacturing paving and things like that. Um, so I want to talk about, actually I'll talk about John first because he was a legend. Um, he used to, I used to work for a guy called John and his brother Dave, good, good guys. Um, and they, um, they taught me how to work hard and what, they showed me what hard work looks like. Um, that was many, many, many hours a week on the end of a rake and uh, lots of dust in the summer raking out lawns and stuff, which was, which was uh, great fun. Um, and uh, lots of sunburn in the summer and lots of freezing cold hands in the winter and, and uh, frostbite. I don't know if I've ever got that, but it felt like it. Um, anyway, so, so good guys, because you, what I want to share in this, in, this, in this little story is that um, in, in the early days of business, you need people to give you a chance, right? And, um, and, and even in the early days of when you first get, a, first get a job, you need someone to give you a chance. And these guys, John and Dave, gave me a, gave me a chance, gave me an opportunity. I left school uh, uh, early, earlier than I should have, and um, um, and you know these guys gave me an opportunity to work in their in their nursery and in their contracting business, which was fantastic. Their plant nursery, not not a not a baby nursery, by the way. <laughs> Just make that clear. Um, a um, a plant nursery, right? Growing um, camellias and rhododendrons and azaleas and things like that. Um, so I learned a lot of things about uh, about plants and clipping and potting and planting and propagating and fertilizing and spraying and all the things anyway so um and then lawns um learned how to uh how to how to create a good lawn the prep work you know the dig out the the soil the the texture of the soil the you know what's good and what's bad and the types of seeds to use the types of fertilizer and all the rest blah 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 but the whole point of my story really is is that um i want to thank these people and and these are people early people that give you a chance in life like your teachers really and <laughs> that give you a chance even if you're a dope um, and you are playing up and acting up. You've got teachers that form you and, and train you and are patient with you and, and your parents, obviously, they're the most patient people um, that, that bring you up and, and look after you and, and um, serve you, you know, because one principle we have at Premier Group is we say that um, that service or uplifting service is, without service, we wouldn't, none of us would be here, right? Without the service of others, the uplifting service of others. So we actually train all our team on this all the time. Um, from day one really but it's a good reminder in this little story that none of us is here none of us would be here without the service of others our, our parents um, you know um, the midwife who helped deliver us into the world the do our doctors and nurses and um, you know the, the people that pick up the rubbish um, and all around us there's people serving us right you know in our count local body councils um, even if um, some of them need to go and you know anyway that's a subject for another day <laughs> um, but people that are really working hard for you and serving you and helping you to survive and thrive and get ahead so so that's a really important lesson and these are people that you know gave me a chance in, in business and, and helped me um, and gave me good feedback another guy called Dave I'm just remembering now too gave me great great detailed feedback did a job for Dave um, he's a dear chap um, and he um, just thinking about him um, he wrote me a three or four page letter at the end of a landscaping job giving me critical feedback which really you know it was hard to take at the time because I wasn't kind of used to that I'd never had a client do that but he you know um, I didn't really realize it at the time but reflecting back on it he did us a very very good service I mean nowadays in business in our team in our business all the time we're always you know we do NPS calls and NPS surveys and we're always asking for feedback good bad and ugly because it helps us to learn and grow and get ahead but of course we didn't I didn't understand that principle back then I sort of you know, thought thought I thought I knew best, and like probably like lots of small business owners out there, they don't actually like constructive feedback. We we run into that all the time, and that's again something we're trying to help people with through our Premier Business Academy. The earlier in business you can learn um, to take feedback, the better. So so what am I getting getting at with all this? I'm going around around in circles a bit, or just jumping from one topic to the other. But they're all important because all these things tie together. So let's um yeah let's let's make sure we we really as a team um you know make sure we learn learn from these these history lessons because if we had our you know if we'd learned all these things and we were applied all these things 20 years ago all the things we know now at premier group um and premier business academy we'd be you know um maybe um 500 million dollars further ahead so so um so our job at premier business academy is to, is to help you shortcut your journey and make sure you can compress time and learn lessons so that's a really important lesson so dave you're a total legend um he's no longer on this planet earth so he's um 
he departed, but he was, uh, it was a great guy and he gave me great feedback um, and it was a great lesson and helped us to improve our business, even though I didn't like hearing it at the time. So important lesson there. Ian was another legend, uh, property developer, um, and he gave, uh, he was one of my early clients in the landscaping business. Um, let me design a, um, it's at his a multi-million dollar home actually on River Road in Hamilton, beautiful home. Um, let me to, you know, let me loose to design a, a beautiful um, uh, sort of rock garden and, and you know, I specified all the plants and then he, you know, I quoted to do the job as well. So I think I did the design for free because I was doing design work for free back then just to win the jobs. Um, and so he gave me a chance and, you know, paid me well and paid me on time. And again, he gave, you know, little bits of feedback as well, which were helpful because he was very experienced in business and been on the road a long time. So again, we value their feedback and we value them giving us this opportunity because if these people like Bob and Dave and Ian and John and Kevin and um, Ingrid and all these people that have come into our came into our early history and early life, if they hadn't given us a chance, well, we wouldn't be here today, would we? Um, and that's why we always must respect the customer. Even uh, that's what we say at Premier Group. It's always day one, right? We say it's always day one because if we lose sight of that, and we then we start to lose respect for our our customers and our suppliers and our people. So we always must, you know, we can't hang our hat on uh, yesterday's success because that that's a really important. Um, quote to learn and I, um, I wish I'd known that one many years ago too can't hang your hat um, on yesterday's coat hook or success you know each new day you're only really as good as you you're only as good as your last day you're only as good as your last action so um, only as good as your last day important quotes to learn and um, you'll see them around our hallways and and everywhere I was gonna start right hallways there as your last day um, and you'll, you, you might wonder about the origin of these, some of these quotes, but this is what they really mean, you know, this is, this is where they come from. So it's really, really important stuff. Um, so Ian Legend, thank you, um, and he went on to give us lots of other planting work in his development and stuff later, and he was a really valued, um, you know, client, and we built, um, again, part of this origin story is just to share with everyone, you know, why all these things are so important, because I learned really early on in business, when I was probably 18, 19, 20, um, that you know, I had to communicate really well with these people, um, and and that every time something went wrong was mostly because I hadn't communicated and said, oh, I'm not going to get there today because of the weather. So I learned really quick to communicate. Um, how many tradies can you name and, and small businesses that don't communicate with you properly right now? They're all around the world, probably 99% that don't. So you can get in the 1% pretty easily just by communicating really, really well. It's far better to over-communicate um, um, than under-communicate, right? That, that includes follow-up too, following up quotes, following up payment, making sure you get the payment in the door. So I had to learn all these things, which, you know, in our business now, obviously we've got departments that look after all these things, but we must respect our history, we must respect our origins, um, respect our, 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 our grass, our roots, I guess you call it, because all these principles had to be in play, you know, from early days, otherwise we would never have got to where we are today. Um, so I had to be professional, you know, that's got, got a uniform and we saw, get, had the truck all signed, written up and, and the trailer and things like that um, and keep it clean and just getting all the basics right. Because often in business what you find is that businesses that struggle or fail, um, they just don't even get the basics right. So you've got to get those basics right. Um, because if you if you do the basics well every single day, you're gonna you're gonna succeed. It's all the little things that, that count. You know that the detail really counts. Um, follow up is really important. It's lacking in every business and pretty much in the world today. Or you know some a lot of companies have built follow up systems on email um, because they're too scared to get on the phone. So that, I mean it's better than no follow up. But um, you know with cluttered inboxes these days. <laughs> Who, you know, who, <laughs> who's gonna take any notice of that? Some do text follow up, which is good as well, but there's nothing like the phone, right? And so we learned that from early days that if we wanted to actually win business and get ahead, we had to get on the phone, stop being scared of the phone, pick up the phone and ring the customer. Administration, so we had to learn all these things with all these clients and you know, get our quotes out on time and invoices out on time. I was hopeless at getting quotes out quickly because I didn't understand that. So now you look at our guarantees now, we've got what, 48 hour, quote guarantee, well it's just phenomenal in our industry, um, and we probably all take it for granted here at Premier Group, but um, back in, back here, sometimes I'd take two weeks, three weeks, four weeks to even get a quote to a customer. So again, you know, I'm really thankful to all these people for giving me a go, despite them having to follow me up for a quote, um, even sometimes following me up for an invoice. So these are all like sort of lessons that, again, if I'd known all these basic things, you know, we, we could have grown the business so much faster, with so much less drama, so much less hassle, all these things. So 
I really want you guys to understand, you know, where we've come from. Who was Bob? Bob was a, um, an older builder, an absolute legend. Um, and he gave me an opportunity to do all his lawns around all his new builds um, with my little Kanga loader. That was, a, that was a game changer, the Kanga, because that leveraged my time in a big way and got me into, it was expensive, but it got us into all sorts of other work that we didn't have before. So I could now quote lawns. We had a rotary hoe and a leveling bar made up. John helped me with the leveling bar, by the way. Legend John and John and Pete and Dave, good men. Um, um, they were three brothers and um, still are, I guess. Um, once a brother, always a brother. So Bob, um, Bob's a, Bob was a good man, um, gave us a lot of opportunity, planting jobs, lawn jobs, um, paid us build, you know, paid us within seven days, I think, which was you know, pretty outrageous for, for builders back then. Um, probably still is today. Um, anyway, so so he was a good man. Thanks, Bob. Kevin, um, another great builder who um, did lots of um, developments and houses, and um, we did his lawns and little planting jobs and stuff for him. Um, these are just a few that sprung to mind before I shot this video. Uh, I was just writing down a few that um, that really really helped out. And there's many many others that come to mind. If you're watching this and you're one of our old clients from 20, 30 years ago, then you're a total legend. I want to say thank you. Put your name in the comments, and I'll I'll give you a shout out on the next video. Um, but um, yeah, so that that probably covers what we wanted to talk about today. Um, talking about these legends and people that gave us a chance and people that you know helped us get helped us to um, you know um, learn 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 if they hadn't given us a chance we would never have learned you know if they hadn't um, followed up me for my <laughs> for my quotes which is you know should have been my job um, then you know we would never have grown the business we would never have got the jobs we would never have got ahead and so after a while I learned that yeah we need to get the quotes out quicker and and then of course now today we fast forward to, to 2024 and we have this crazy guarantee and I think we're gonna cut that in half again soon as well. Um, you know, so it's get the basic service right, get the quality right, do the basics well and, and you'll get clients referring you and then start delivering unexpected value. And that's what I started learning with these guys is that I started delivering unexpected value, doing things for them that they didn't expect and of course that turns them into raving fans. And presto, you've got um, a whole lot more referrers or a whole lot more salespeople working for you for free, telling us, hey, by the way, Bernard at Earthscape does this and does that and no one else does that for me. Um, he does this special thing around the, uh, when he finishes off the lawns, he cleans up better than anyone else um, and his team, of course, but this I'm sort of talking when we're just one or two people, um, you know, and then um, as we built the team, it was, it was more about, it was, well, obviously more all about the team and saying, you know, hey, have you heard about Earthscape? Um, they do this and this and this, they, they do, they go the extra mile. And of course, yeah, you, you, you're giving some unexpected value, something the customer's not expecting. So you're um, really, you know, really delivering at the peak of the, uh, the customer pyramid. So, so anyway, there's a few little, uh, few little yarns for you and um, I'll be back with lots more. Thanks for watching.